Hi all, this is Karthik from Design School for WordPress Beginners, the place where I teach you how to design, build and customize your websites. If you are new here, consider subscribing. Let's get into today's video. Someone recently asked me in the comments how to replace the WordPress logo when the header turns sticky. I'll show you that in this video. If you just want to change the color of your logo, maybe from black to white or white to black or whatever, I made another video. I'll leave a link to that in which I taught you how to change the logo to black and white one. But in this, we're talking about a brand new logo. So maybe if you have a lighter version of your logo, maybe you have an artistic version of your logo that you want to replace when the header turns sticky. And of course, I'm going to show you this with Elementor. Best of all, I'll show you without using JavaScript. It can be easily done using JavaScript. But I'll show you a way in which you can do it by using the features of Elementor and pure CSS. So let's get into it. First, you need to make your header sticky. So you need to click on the section of your header, go to motion effects. You need to select sticky if it's not. So usually it will be like this. Just select top or bottom based on the type of scrolling you want and just change this to any value. When you change the effects offset, this is when the effects will be applied. So when we write custom CSS code, those effects will be applied after scrolling 200 pixels from the top. So that's what this means. You can leave these values as is or you can change it if you want the logo to be changed at a certain distance. So that's all it does. Again, this was explained in a previous video. You can check out the other videos, but we are more concerned about replacing this logo. So just click on the logo and the CSS classes, give it a class name or logo. Okay. So this is your old logo and click on this header. So since you made it a sticky element, we just need to add a little bit of CSS here. I just added a little bit of CSS code. What does this mean? Well, this means when the header turns sticky, do the following. So we're just changing the background color of the header when it turns sticky. And if you don't add important here, this may not work because the theme styles are not letting you override it. So you just need to click this code. Again, this was available in previous video. You can check that out. This is not our primary concern. All this code does is that normally it has the background color that you pick from the style tab. And when the header turns sticky, the background color will be pink. So when I scroll through, you can see when it turns sticky, the background color will be pink. Normally it will be this color. So sticky element, it turns. That's what this code does. Now we can use the same code but for this element, as the name of this element or the class name of this element is old logo, we just need a new logo. So just click on this, pick an image, drag it under this, wherever you want, it doesn't matter. After uploading or adding this image, just pick the new logo that you want to be replaced when your header turns sticky or the new logo that you want when your header turns sticky. I'll just pick this, I'll click insert. Now it's my logo, my new logo. Don't worry, we'll change all this. You don't have to worry about it. And if you're not happy with the size, you can pick custom from here and change it to 60 by 60. Since it needs to act as a logo, add your custom URL, which will be basically the name of your website. So it will be HTTPS website.com. Don't forget to add that since you need to make this a logo and not just a regular image. So once you're done adding the logo, I'll just pick site URL from here. So this becomes logo the new logo, just go to advanced and under CSS classes for the new image. What is the name that we need to give? Yeah, it's new logo. This is the old logo and this is the new logo. We'll click on this and under custom positioning, let's turn the header back to normal. And when the header is normal, just click on your new logo and click on the position and change it to absolute. Now you're free to replace this logo wherever you want. Just drag it right on top of your logo. Don't worry, we'll fix this with CSS, but as of now, it will override your logo or it will not let you see your logo, but we're going to fix that right now. Again, click on this section. Since I told you this is the code that needs to be applied when the header turns sticky, we'll do the same for both logos. So we'll have one code for old logo that will basically hide the old logo when it turns sticky and we'll have one more code that will show the new logo when the header turns sticky. First, let's write the code to hide the old logo when the header turns sticky. So I just commented this. I just added a comment that shows what it does. So within selector, which is our whole section, I'm telling initially it will be shown, but when the header turns sticky, it will be hidden. So that's all it does. So since by default, it's visible, you don't have to change anything about it. Or if you just want, you can just add a visibility property here. So we'll just say visibility, visible. So when the header turns normal, 
we'll just show the logo or we'll just show the old logo so it's already visible you can already see it but once it turns sticky we want to hide it so when the header turns sticky this is the code and within that i just want to hide my old logo when it turns sticky so when it turns sticky visibility can you guess the property it's hidden yes now let's see if our initial code is working or not yes it's working you can see that my logo just disappeared and all i see is new logo perfect now we need to get it back when the header turns normal and we're actually doing it but the problem is the new logo is appearing by default and we don't want that behavior so in order to change that we'll add one more line or one more snippet of code which is similar to this show new logo when the header turns sticky right we can simply copy and paste this but change of course the class name of the logo which is new logo so when the header turns sticky i want the logo to be visible or the new logo to be visible right but when the header is normal i just want the new logo to be hidden that will perfectly fix the situation for me and that's the code that you need to write that's it and these are the two snippets that you need to add to make this work let's see if our code is working or not perfect perfect it's working perfectly fine right so when the header turns sticky i have a brand new logo and when it's normal i have my normal logo back it can be any image that you can pick from here so you can replace it for, with any image but if you're looking for color change i highly recommend you use css filters i'll leave a link to that video in the description that's it that's how quick and easy it is to replace logo with another logo when the header turns sticky with elementor since this is done with elementor pro version i assume you have pro version of elementor if you want me to explain how to do it with javascript let me know but avoiding javascript as much as possible is always good which is why i taught you the way how to do it with css and that's it you just click on update and that's just the code that you need to write i'll leave this code in the description down below subscribe if you didn't already there's a lot more coming in the future see ya